Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to my Animal Crossing New Horizons channel. Y'all, we are in for a treat today. We are touring the island of Squamish. It is by Kendall. Of course, her Instagram will be linked down in the description box below if you wanna check that out. But this island is like, a hybrid three in one, so to speak. So it is part cottage core, part fairy core, and forest core. So the three really popular, incredibly beautiful aesthetics just combined in one, like some amazing Neapolitan ice cream of islands. So with that said, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and would love to have you join this community. So hit that subscribe button, comment down below on an island that you think I should tour next and let's get started with touring Squamish with looking at this map holy smokes look at that waterscaping in the back that is artwork that is artwork and it looks like there are two houses that we will be able to explore um, I was told by Kindle that one of them is not complete but the other one does have some finished rooms so we can check those out and then for her villagers, she has Cherry, who is just such a fun sisterly villager. She has Marina, Tia, Raymond, Fauna, Lucky, Bam, Fang, Judy, and Tangy. So yeah, right off of the bat, I can kind of tell how she has mixed a whole bunch of different aesthetics together. All of course, very lovely and popular villagers too. And let's just dive right on in. Uh, first and foremost, this flag is so fun. Love a good rainbow flag on an island. And her entrance. Ooh, this waterscaping again on the map. It looked amazing towards the back half of the island, but also just right here. I mean, come on, look at that cute little um, uh, orchid <laughs> mantis up there. <laughs> Looks like it's floating. Wow, okay, and this is interesting and not something I see a whole bunch, but there is no like path, but all of these individual squares have been filled up with petals or, you know, these tree stump QR codes. That is really impressive. So the entrance drops you right here at Resident Services, and I'm gonna take a peek at the map. Let's see. You know what, let's go to the left first and check out kind of her neighborhood area where the villagers are. And let's go down this way. I'm always tempted to go up first, but then I always forget that the bottom half of the island even exists. So let's rectify that situation right out of the gate. I love how pretty her flowers are. You can tell she's going with a purple, pink, and white theme. Ooh, and then we have a nice little spooky area where you can dine on the beach. Oh, and this drops us right at her shopping district. Oh, how nice. I love when the Nooks Cranny and Able Sisters are right next to each other. It's like you can get all your shopping done right there. <laughs> I find it so convenient. Oh, and a little hop. Oh, how cute is this bridge? So I'm gonna see, oh, I don't think it'll let me hop over here. But this view, that's really stunning. And of course, Fauna in the background just being perfect. <laughs> so we have one villager house over here. Yeah, you can tell that the colors on this island are very fairy core inspired with the whites and pinks and purples and blues. Those to me always like very much scream fairy core and a cute little area where you can lay out. Good night. This is where I end the video. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is so, so sweet. Okay, so two villager houses here, and then we'll go up this way. Oh, this is like a double bridge moment. Oh, how cool. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, who has the little beehive? I think, is this Judy's house? It is, okay, that makes sense. Also, how fun to have this simple panel decorated like a honeycomb. That's really sweet. Y'all, I, okay, I cannot get over. Look at the ground. Every single square has been given a custom design. That is, 
so pretty and I, I mean I'm just I'm overwhelmed because it that has to take so much time but every single spot is decorated I love this tiny little patch of brick that's actually so cute and then over here we have Miss Fauna's house Cute. I like how technically all of the villager homes are in one area, so you could call it a neighborhood, sure, but it feels, how do I explain it? Like, let's look at her map again. Even though her homes are close together, right? Like all of her villagers are in this bottom left-hand side. It's technically a neighborhood, but it's spaced in a way where it doesn't feel sterile. You know, it feels very warm and still very natural. Oh wow, and this is smart. Instead of having a huge orchard, just having one tree of each fruit. I mean, because truly that's kind of all you need, right? That is smart. <gasps> Whoa, what's down there? Okay, yep, yep. Falling in love with this island already. Don't mind me. Gonna go this way. <laughs> oh, I think we have to go back behind here to get there. So we do have more houses up there and then whoa so here is where some of that forest core vibage comes into play this is so so pretty i love this little circle with the mush stools and the bushes that is something else wow yeah, and like just this little trail here. Again, this is so unique. Oh my gosh, I love this design. I would make that my flag. I mean, I'm not saying like if I were her, I would make that my flag. I just want it for my own island's flag. That's so pretty. And then we look up there. Yeah, the waterscaping on this island is just so thoughtful and so well done. Okay, so there's clearly some more stuff over here. <laughs> I love all the hopping that we have to do on this island. It's cute. But it's still like pretty easy to navigate even though you do have to hop. This. Okay, shut up. This is so pleasing to look at. Is it not? Like, something about this is just so beautiful. I know a lot of people have beef with the waterfalls um, just because it's a little bit loud and sometimes, I don't know, you, you want your game to be a little bit more calming, but I don't, the water on this island is just so pretty. Oh, we have a pumpkin patch. Cute. Okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, here, I'm gonna go through the stool. There we go. Also, that little area up there with the waterfalls is really pretty. Fun. Oh, wait. What is... Uh, I don't think I can get through there. What is over here? Oh, what a cute pumpkin patch sign. Okay. All right, Katie, stop getting distracted. <gasps> okay, what's this going to be? This makes me feel like I'm in one of the uh, maze challenges that a lot of Animal Crossing creators do. Wee! Like the Crunchy Games one. Oh my gosh, this takes you just right to her uh, secret beach. That is a cute secret beach too. Is this not adorable? And just like the tiniest amount of brick detailing. That is fun. That's a fun way to go and visit Red. You gotta leapfrog your way to get contraband, artificial, fake paintings. <laughs> Hopefully some real art too, but you know, um, I try my best to not follow a guide for that kind of stuff because I do want to see if I could get it right, um, but it's sometimes that's way easier said than done. Okay, and how freaking sweet is this library? So now we're feeling definitely more of those um, fairy core vibes with the colors here. 
but then those cottagecore elements with the table and chairs. That is so cute. I will say, I definitely think the terraforming on this island is very cottagecore vibe, you know? Ooh. <gasps> well, this is stunning. That's beautiful. Okay, I wanna go see her museum because it was up here. Oh, wow, a double incline moment. And that's her museum. Whoa, I love it. I love that. It's kind of like the secret beach where like you have to do a little frogger moment. Oh, and her campsite's up here? Oh, perfect. Cute. Holy cute. <gasps> Can we talk about how this little lace QR code is underneath the wood right here? These wooden stumps, that is absolutely precious. I mean, this is really sweet. Hello, can I, can I get out of the way? <laughs> this is really cute. I'm still, I, I keep getting distracted by it, but I am blown away with how every single space of this ground is covered with a custom design. Oh wait, look, look, wait for it. Into the bucket. I mean, in theory, it would go into the bucket. <laughs> Cute. 10 points for that right there. And then you have that sweet little reading area there in the background. It's really sweet. Okay. Now where to go? I feel like there's so much to see. Oh, okay. So this is the house up here that is not complete, but I do want to at least admire the exterior. It has its own little island on the pinks and the purples. Oh, there she goes. I might have to push you, love. But I'll say hi. Hello. That's Miss Kindle. And then let's go this way. Oh! This pink house right in front of the screen is probably the other one. So let's go explore this way. I love these details. Like, just how... This has a little, you know, piece of lace right here, just for fun, just for cuteness. Oh, and we have a little ride right here. I love how she put these hedges too. And the cypress plants like around the actual ride itself. That's so cute. <laughs> I'll keep it going. We are open, okay. Oh, and there's a menu outside. Is this supposed to be like a diner? Oh, I think it is. I think we're spot on because look at this table and chair set. Okay, so cute. So excited to see the interiors. Shut up. This is so fun and it's giving me serious retro 50s vibes given me some Back to the Future vibes, some Rivendale vibes. How absolutely adorable is all of this furniture together and the jukebox. I mean, you could not have made this into a better diner. This is so fun. I also love this wallpaper. I have it and I haven't figured out really how to use it. Of course, it makes perfect sense in a room like this. This is so much fun. And the colors again, the pink and the blue, it's like a no brainer. It all kind of ties everything together. Also check out how adorable the blinds are on the windows in this island, uh, I mean, <laughs> this wallpaper. <laughs> Amazing. So let's go upstairs.
and another dining space. How smart, this one has a TV. You know what this reminds me of is like the room that you would reserve for birthday parties or special events, maybe for like a prom night, anything like that. This upstairs room, because it's segmented with larger booths, it makes me feel like it's a room reserved for um, events with the diner. That is so smart, cute. And now let's check out the downstairs. Oh, so precious. So this is like your little date spot, I would imagine. Each of the tables has two chairs. This is your like little romantic spot. Or maybe if someone comes to the diner to get some work done or homework done and they don't wanna take up a whole booth, they could just come down here. This is such a cute concept. I'm very obsessed. All right, and now I was told that not all of the rooms are finished, so I don't want to go into any of those rooms and show a work in progress when the creator doesn't feel comfortable with it. We always wanna show them in their best light, but that is adorable. Also, look at how the house itself has that turquoise door and the pink exterior, and then there's the turquoise chairs over here, and then over here the chairs are pink. I mean, the, the detail. I mean, blue here, pink here. Are you kidding me? Even in the flowers? There's so much thought that has gone into this, and it's so sweet. Hey, this sweet little octopus, Miss Marina. And the lavender farm. And of course, what better color silo than to have the pink and the blue one? That is perfect. You know what, let's look at this. I mean, that is perfect. It is. Hey, sweet girl. Oh, and another little farm here. Looks like it could be a cauliflower farm. Oh, I love the macrame design style uh, blankets. I love how big this blanket is too. That's so pretty. I mean, everything on this island is pretty. And then a little place where you can stop and get some juice. <laughs> this is so precious. Oh, how cute to have a little umbrella stand on your beach next to a seating area. This is so much fun. Yeah, I feel like the back half of the island, I very much got those forest core vibes, right? And then the cottage core comes into play with items like this. You have your mush log, you have this speaker. Oh, I turned off the candles. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> and also the terraforming on this island reminds me of a very cottage core vibe. But then the colors are very fairy core and like the diner felt very fairy core to me. This is so neat. And it just goes to show that when you're designing your island or you're picking a certain aesthetic and all that, you do not have to, you know, color within the lines. You can make your island however you want. If you don't want to use any pathing, you don't have to. If you don't want to use the path, you don't have to. If you wanna make yours colorful and neutral, do it. I, I, there's really no rules. And I think this is the perfect example for us to see of how like you can make your island your own and it can be stunning. It does not have to fit in this cookie cutter, cutter version of what, you know, Animal Crossing Twitter or Instagram kind of has labeled a lot of this. But I have had so much fun and this island is so fun. And I'm gonna, you know what, sit right here while we say our goodbyes today. <laughs> if you guys liked this island tour, if it inspired you to do something different with your island, oh my gosh, also last note, look at that book just laying on the little lace doily. 
Okay, yeah, if I, if I keep going into detail, this will be a 1000 hour long video. But with that said, if this island did inspire you like it has me, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below on a type of island or a very specific island, maybe it's your island, that you think I should tour next. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Go give Kindle and the Island of Squamish some love, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.